Hey, what's up everyone? It's Franchise923, and I just wanted to make a follow-up to this video where we created a, a GPX file um, using EXIF tool. So EXIF tool is this command line tool you can download from the internet, and I briefly mentioned in the video how we can use this in Python. Um, and I just noticed one of our viewers actually uh, basically pointed out that when I mentioned that, and they, they basically asked if we can make a video on this. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in using EXIF tool with Python, just keep on watching. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it. So I'm going to show you what I have set up here. So I just have a folder here with a bunch of MP4 files in it. So we can just play the file. Here I am just getting some Starbucks. How can I help you? Uh, could I have a grande coffee with cream in it? Grande coffee with cream is my favorite. So. You can see we have a bunch of uh, MP4 files, and then we have these other unrelated, or actually they are related, but they're not MP4 files. Um, this is actually for my dash cam, and these GLV files get created like side by side with the MP4 files. Um, and then you see we have a test folder, and I've basically just added the same thing to the test folder. And what the script is gonna do is, we're going to say, start in this dash cam footage folder, and convert any MP4 that you find. And it's going to actually traverse directories and go down into this test folder. And if I were to create another folder here, I could do the same thing. It, and it's basically recursively going through all the folders. Um, so that's what we're going to work on. And I wanted to keep these GLV files in here just because in our code, we're going to want to ignore these. We're only interested in the MP4s. Um, so I just wanted to add some unrelated files in here or not, they are related, but you know, files that have different extensions. So let's head to Python and I'm just gonna create a new script here called um, exif tool gpx creator. Uh, sounds pretty good to me. And yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do is import OS because what we're gonna have to do is we need the, uh, we need to walk, it's called in Python, we need to walk um, some directories. So the first thing is let's just make a variable um, spelled that wrong, directory. And we're gonna make a variable that points to that folder where we have all of our files. So I'm just going to right click on any one of them and then hit the, um, I'm using a regular keyboard so it's the alt button for me but it's probably the command button for you, but I'm just going to copy it as path name like that. And if you're on Windows, we basically just need to do the same thing. Just copy the path to the folder. And I'm going to chop that file off because I just want the actual folder location. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to walk through this directory. So it's kind of weird syntax. You'll see in a sec, but I'm just going to say for path and for directories and files in os.walk and then give it your root video directory. And let's just see what that does for right now. So let's just print um, path and I'm gonna use the f strings here so I can actually put path as a variable in here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for uh, directories. And this is just so you can see what, what this is, because this confused me when I first learned how this worked. So I just want to make it clear what this is doing. And let's just say files. Oops. Uh, we have to add the files, okay. And I'm going to add a new line at the end of this, just so there's like a, a space in between. So let's just run this and just see what it gives us. So you can see the first thing it gave us was the path, and that was the root level path that we gave it. So it's starting right at dash cam footage. That's what path equals. So it's literally just a string that equals that. Then directories is all the directories that it finds 
in that path. So you can see here path equals dash cam footage, directories equals any directories. So if there were more directories, so if I put a new folder in here called test2, and why don't we just go ahead and do that? We'll copy all this stuff into here. So now I have a test2. Test2 would have showed up here. Um, and then it's listing all the files that are in this location. So these are all the files. And then the second time it goes through, it says, okay, now we're in the next folder. So it's, it's uh, dug a little deeper into the directory. So now it's in test and it's saying, well, there, what are the directories in test? Well, there are no directories in test. So that's why it's empty. And now it's just listing all the files. So let's run this again now that we've added a second test folder. And you can see now we're getting basically the same thing for test two. So there's no directories. But what we could do just to further explain this a little better, we could go down into test two, add a new folder here called test three. And this is probably overkill for what you guys are trying to do, but this is just if you had a bunch of directories like nested within each other. So now if we ran this again, we should see, where did we make that folder in test? So in test two, we should see this directories is gonna have something in here. So see now test two has a test three directory in it. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, it kind of confused me a little bit when I first learned how to, like what it was doing, but uh, yeah, that's basically what it's doing. So what we need to do is we want to loop through the files here. So we're going to make a for loop, another for loop that says for video file in files. And now I'm going to say if video file dot ends with and we're looking for MP4. So if it ends with MP4 print, oops, print, oh, my caps lock's on, print uh, video file. So now we should just get back a bunch of um, MP4 files. Okay, so that's, that's cool. So this is listing every single MP4 file, even in all the nested directories. So you see there's some repeated because we copy the same ones over and over. But that's great, like this is exactly what we want. Now we have a list of the files that we want to run through EXIF tool. So the next thing we can do is we need to basically make a full path to this file because right now this is just the file name and the extension. There's no um, absolute path. Like if, if we just tried to run EXIF tool with this, EXIF tool would say, where is this file? You're just giving me the file name. So we need to make another variable called full path, um, full MP4 path, and set that equal to os.path.join. And what we're going to do is join the path with the video file. So if you remember, path is listing the top level root directory. So let me just print path here. This is path. And we'll put path in there. And this path is going to change. Every time it digs deeper into another folder, it's going to change the path. So now we'll say this is full MP4 path. All right, so let's say full MP4 path. All right, let's give this a shot. Okay, it's a little ugly, but here's the video file. This is path, so dash cam footage. This is full path, dash cam footage. And what this os.path.join does, it basically takes whatever is on the left and joins it with what's on the right. So basically just takes this and adds this to it, and it adds a slash. So now we have a full path. So this is a file, this is a, a valid location we could give the EXIF tool. All right, so that makes sense. So let's get rid of some of these print statements. So now that we know we have all the files we want, 
let's just say print uh, processing and we'll throw in the full mp4 path there okay and what we're going to do is before we actually try to run exif tool we need to create an output file so right now we have the, the input file but now we need to make the output file so full gpx output path equals and we're just going to make this real simple we're going to say full mp4 path dot replace and we're going to replace dot mp mp4 with dot gpx so this this is basically going to say take the mp4 path which is this right here and basically re replace mp4 with gpx and that's going to be our output file so that's how we're going to do that all right and now what has to happen we basically need to open this output file because it doesn't exist yet. So I'm gonna say with open and give it the, f the full output path and then write w for write as gpx file. So basically what we're doing here is we're creating this file right here. So we're saying with open and then we're saying open this file and it doesn't exist but this is actually gonna create it. And now what do we need to do? We need to construct the exif tool command. So if you remember from that video I showed you, we had basically an exif tool um, command line command. And we're just going to do the same thing but do it in Python. So how you do that in Python is you give it a list of arguments. So I can say exif tool in my command prompt and I get the exif tool shows up like that. Um, and if you're on a Windows instead of a Mac, for example, um, let me just show you. It's very similar. Basically, you probably downloaded the EXIF tool and it's in here. And you just need to basically shift and right click and copy as path and then open that up in a command prompt like that. And that's the same thing, if that makes sense. Basically, EXIF tool is probably not on your path in Windows, so if you type exif tool, it's not going to know what it is. So you can just explicitly tell it where it is. And I'm not sure why it's going slow, but there you go. So that's that's the only difference here. Just wanted to clear that up. So the first prompt or the first uh, argument I'm going to give it is exif tool, exif tool, because again. In my command prompt, I can just say exif tool. Now you might have to say exif tool um, like I just showed you a few seconds ago. Copy that as path. And again, this is if you're uh, on Windows, you would go, that's what it would look like for you. Just like that. But for me, since I'm on Mac and it's on my path, I'm just going to say exif tool. Next command is dash ee for, I think it stands for extended, something extended, like extended metadata or something. Um, and then dash m. So dash m I think stands for like mute, but it's going to mute any minor warnings you have. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. Actually, you know what, let's, I won't show you that first. Let's just get this working. Then dash P. And now this is a little tricky. We need to give it this gpx.fmt file. Um, I think I covered that in this video, but basically you need to make a file called gpx.fmt. And you can just copy this file uh, like this copy it, and then make a file called gpx.fmt. I actually have that file right here, and you can see, um, let's open it up with, fine, text edit, that's fine. Um, just like that. So just make sure you have that file. I'll link the uh, path to this GitHub uh, file right here. 
and so I'm just going to copy as path name and put it right here. All right. And then uh, another comma, and then we need to give it the output path. Actually, no, the input path. So full MP4 path. All right. Then, so that's just a list, right? This is all it is is a Python list. So it's not going to do anything yet. This is where we need to use something called sub process in Python. So I'm going to import that import sub process. And this is how you actually run it. So sub process dot run. And we're going to run exif tool command. Oh, what's going on there? Exif. So that's just saying run this. So what subprocess.run does, it's a way in Python for you to basically say run this in my command prompt. So when you say subprocess run, Python's going to in the background open up its own command prompt like this and run whatever you're telling it to run. So it's going to run this. So it's going to run exif tool dash ee dash p just like that. Um, okay, and then the only other thing that is important here is we need the standard output, which is basically what the tool spits out at you. Uh, we need that to go to a file, and that's what we're going to use our GPX file for. That's the whole reason we're opening this GPX file. We're going to take the standard out and write it to a file. Um, and we're actually telling it to write it to this file. All right, and that's pretty much it. I'm just going to say now print uh, successfully created. And let's give it the full GPX output path. And I'm just going to add a new line at the end of it Oops, with slash n. That way it's not all bunched up. And now when we run this, it should uh, you should see um, GPX files getting created. So let's run it. Okay, and see these warnings that we're getting? That's what I was talking about earlier if we add the dash M. Um, but I'll show you why we're getting this warning first. So before that, actually, now you can see we got GPX files. So that's awesome. So here you go. We have our GPX files. All right, so the, the reason we're getting this minor warning, and it says it's minor right here, it's because this MP4 file doesn't have this GPS altitude piece of metadata. Um, so what we can do to just suppress that or ignore it, uh, just if you don't want to see all these warning messages, is we're just going to add one more parameter, and it's going to be dash M. And I'm actually going to put it before that dash p dash m and make sure you put a comma here and i'm i'm guessing it stands for mute but maybe it stands for something like minor i'm not sure but here you go now you can see it's ignoring or not just not displaying that warning message and there you go and the cool thing about that walk is it's converted everything in here so it, it walked down into the test folder then it walked down in test two and converted all these to GPXs. And then it said, oh, there's another test three folder. Let's let's uh, go down into this and convert everything here. And you can see there's these GPX files here. All right, so there you go. That is with 15 lines. Actually, we can even <laughs> slim this down even more. With like 13 lines of code, we have, uh, a, actually, I don't, I like having spaces here. Uh, 13 lines of code, we have made a script that can recursively convert MP4 files uh, to GPX. Uh, pretty powerful and it's pretty, pretty awesome and pretty useful. Um, hope that was helpful. If you liked it, um, please subscribe and, and like and subscribe. Uh, and I can make more content like this because uh, this stuff's pretty fun to work with. All right. Thanks for watching.